Hi everyone, I'm Darlene. I'm Isaiah. And today we're going to talk about chapter 8 of the book Catching Foxes by John Henderson. Yep. So in the book, he discusses the conflicts of marriage. And so there are five different um, reasons he des he describes that couples fight in marriages. One is corrupt words. Mm -hmm. The second one is rejection of correction. The third one is the one acting as two. two. The fourth one is trusting our own eyes. And the fifth one is following our own counsel. counsel. So when um, so in the book, in chapter eight, uh, the emphasis was on uh, James chapter four, uh, one through ten, what explains um, like what happens when we, you know, respond to our uh, selfish desires. So uh, self desire, it, it, it clutters the things of this world is is definitely what um is what james 4 1 through 10 were saying and this book emphasizes that and it emphasized that we should repent from uh corrupt words mm -hmm. and so for the second one um is rejection of correction so i also really like that one and this one stood out to me so in the um book he writes a common expression of conflict in marriage is hard Hearted responses to feedback from spouses. Mm -hmm. So often when you're in a marriage and any relationship really, and you're giving advice to someone, mm -hmm. like the person can take that as, oh, you know, you're knickknacking at them, you're yeah. being defensive toward them, Nagging. you're being critical. Mm -hmm. But that's not the way it should be in a marriage. It mm -hmm. should be um, whatever your spouse tells you mm -hmm. is for your own benefit. Yeah. So he goes more in depth about that in the book. And I thought um, that section of the chapter really stood out to me. Mm -hmm. Um because it is a thing, you know, in today's society, even like people don't like being having communications. They don't like mm -hmm. being talked to because they feel like, you know, once you say something bad, oh, I'm out of it. Yeah, or you I might say, be, or they might be sorry, or they might be, um, you might be judging them or things like that. That's and when someone feels judged, like another part they were talking about in the section of uh, rejection of correction um, is defensiveness and also. Um, shutting down. Uh, anybody that feels judged, I mean, I know anybody can uh, attest to this, that they choose uh, shutting down as a method as opposed to, you know, talking things Resolving out. Resolving the conflict. Yeah, and in a marriage, that shouldn't, shouldn't be the case. Yeah, and so one thing that really stood out for me in the chapter, um, the way he describes conflict in marriage, he was talking about how his two sons, they were fighting over a small action figure that's like the size of his thumb. Oh, mm -hmm. And he's looking around the room and there's like so many other toys that they can play with, yet they're fighting about that one, one little, little toy. toy. And he relates it to, you know, that's how marriage and conflict is. Like you can be fighting about one little thing, but bigger there's things. bigger things around you to be, you know, grateful for. Mm -hmm. And just that one little thing could keep you guys just fighting and mm -hmm. not looking at the bigger picture. And, and seeming as if you guys are divided. Mm -hmm. um, so in marriage, like, it, it's definitely important to um, to definitely talk things out, pray over things, have God in the center um, of your relationship so that he can work on your heart, especially, and work on each other as an individual uh from the inside out that's very important so we won't you know be accustomed to like our selfish desires the things of this world that would definitely you know as it says in chapter eight uh use corrupt words uh reject uh correction when when someone is you know when our spouse is uh seeking to correct us and not to just judge us i mean not just judge us but not judge us at all um the one acting as two um, which is very, which is very important that they also emphasize, um, that we have to embrace togetherness, uh, trusting our own eyes, which is trusting the Lord when things go wrong, um, and seeing, and see, looking at that as an opportunity to, um, to seek guidance on a way to fix that. And then following our own counsel, uh, we need counsel of others. That's why, relation, that's why uh, even in a relationship, um, uh, it can be newlyweds, it can be people who are uh, married, you know, for an extended period of time. Yeah, they you definitely need, need, you need counsel from others. Uh -huh. That's another way that how uh, a marriage survives. So you won't 
be caught up in your uh when and you guys have the yeah and fighting when you guys have Carl. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And so overall, the book was really really great. The chapter especially was really yeah. really great. Mm -hmm. So if you guys do get a chance to watch it. I mean, read, read it. it. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys do get a chance to read it, I would definitely recommend it. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so the thing uh, he talks about, James 4, chapter 4, verses 1 through 10, mm -hmm. it definitely stood out. It definitely makes a point. Mm -hmm. And the book was really, really good. Yeah. Um, and so that's it for today. Again, I'm Darlene. And I'm Isaiah. And I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. Bye.